What up, homies and homettes? All right, so I get a lot of feedback on why I left Atlanta. And uh, I think people are finally starting to come around and realize that um, I am not talking about Atlanta because I don't like Atlanta. I'm actually talking about Atlanta because, wait a minute, I need to jam here for a minute. Uh, uh, okay, let me turn this down. Okay, I actually talk about Atlanta because a lot of uh, uh, my family has migrated to uh, warmer places. Um, one of them is Atlanta. I used to live in Atlanta. I have one, two, three sisters right now who live in Atlanta, uh, and that includes nieces and nephews and other relatives, and um, I am probably going to go back to Atlanta and live in the outskirts of Atlanta, and the place I keep targeting is Kennesaw, and I had this, like this is 15 years ago when I lived there. So I had this long-term plan of finishing my education, which I did. I just did this year. Uh, and then working for the CDC, which I've been currently applying for. So uh, I'm hoping, you know, that uh, I don't necessarily have to be there like right now, but eventually that's where I want to live in Kennesaw, uh, work for the CDC remotely. Uh, meaning at home, from home, and, you know, take some classes at Kennesaw State. Anyways, so here are uh, some great places to live in Kennesaw. I was talking to somebody uh, today, and they were talking about how they lived in Atlanta and how they're going to move from Atlanta, and this individual actually lived in Zone 6. I talked about Zone 6, and uh, we know that there were some terrible things that happened there, um, I think last year. 2017, uh, where a rapper um, was uh, pretty much gunned down. Uh, okay, so Decatur in the suburbs of Decatur. So, well, Decatur is to be a, it's supposed to be a suburbs. So, well, not supposed to be. It is a suburbs. So, um, I don't. I'm not sure what county I, if Decatur is a. I think it, it might be uh, DeKalb because I, I lived in Decatur. I lived in two different places in Atlanta, but I, I lived in Decatur with my sister until I moved. So I, I end up living on Ponce de Leon. I had an apartment there. I had a, a two bed. I had a one bedroom apartment. I lived there. Uh, I was paying $600, but like I said, that was 15 years ago. But anyway, so Decatur. So I would always go down to the DeKalb Mall. That was the big thing, to go down to the mall, hang out, and they had a comic book store that was dynamite, and I would go down there and read comics and buy comic books and stuff like that 15 years ago. Sherwood Forest, and I don't mean like Robin Hood, <laughs> even though that's probably where they got the name from. So Sherwood Forest is another one. It's a neighborhood in Atlanta. I don't know anything about it. Jones Creek is a suburb of, of Atlanta. I think I've actually heard of Jones Creek before. Um, let's see. They have some places that are best to buy a house down there, too. So Alpharetta is a place. I definitely heard of Alpharetta. Uh, is, uh, is another suburb. So what they're doing is pretty much angling you to the pretty much, you know, uh, uh, suburbs. Now, Buckhead Forest, uh, neighborhood in Atlanta. Let me tell you something, you guys. These places are, uh, you can reach these. I mean, it's not like you can't get to these places on a bus. Because I used to go all over Atlanta on a bus. And I would go up to Buckhead. Like, I would go up to Buckhead Mall all the time because I wanted to see what the big deal was. So I would just take a couple buses and boom, I'm right there, you know, in the mall with the, you know, looking at the rich people shop because I had no money. Uh, but I like the fact that I didn't feel like I didn't have any money, even though 
when you walk into a shop that, you know, Tommy Hilfiger's is, you know, $200 for a shirt, three, $400. I knew I couldn't afford that. And the people who worked there knew I couldn't afford it. <laughs> but, you know, when you start looking at Purple Label, it made you feel some kind of good because you were like, you know what, eventually I'm going to be able to walk in here and buy whatever I want if that's your motivation. What I'm saying is they didn't make me feel bad. And I appreciate that 100%. So I would definitely go right back up there if that's what I was into. And I would buy from that store because they didn't make me feel bad at all. Okay, so um, Hanover, Hanover West. It's a neighborhood in Atlanta. I never heard of it. Uh, Collier Hills North uh, is another neighborhood in Atlanta. So uh, let's see. And I'm getting this from... Nietzsche, N-I-C-H-E dot com. So these are the places where it's saying it's the best. Now, here's a, here's a list of the safest places in Atlanta. Because we know that Atlanta has been going through a growth spurt. In area, and, and like a lot of you people from Atlanta has mentioned, from a lot of you who were born and raised there, you have mentioned this time and time again to me. And I believe it. The people who are mean, and unwelcoming are the people who are not from Atlanta. Uh, the problem is the people who migrate there, like you don't know who's from there and who isn't, not unless it's so obvious that somebody's from another country and they roll down there. But uh, you really don't know until you start talking to them and, you know, find out where they're from, that type of thing. So and Atlanteans are catching a bad rap because, you know, uh, the flood that caused a lot of people from other uh, parts of the country to migrate to Atlanta has pretty much got them a, you know, a bad rap in some instances because those people are raising cane. Those people are really tearing stuff up and they want it to be bad. They want these neighborhoods to be torn down. They want to talk about, you know, uh, uh, doing bad to people of their own color. They want it to be, you know, abandoned houses or they call bandos. They want it to be drug infested. They they thrive off of negative energy. And then you got the people who just want to live and they're not interested in, you know, home invasions because that is huge right now. And uh, R. Kelly even got his home invaded. Like home invasions is a thing. But, you know, when these, you know, people who are doing this get caught, everybody wants to talk about how they're good people. But nonetheless, if they don't get caught, they're going to keep doing it. So they're not good people. They're just not, oh, they just made a mistake. No, they made a mistake, ran into the wrong house, and now they're no longer on this planet. And I, for one, don't feel bad for them. Okay. <laughs> uh, so some of the safer places, Buckhead. Uh, excluding the Lindbergh neighborhood, uh, Chastain Park. Okay, so they're excluding some part of that. All right, so Brookhaven, uh, Vinnings, North Druid Hills, Virginia Highland, Druid Hills, Decatur, Avondale, Avondale Estate, uh, Underwood Hills. My sister lives, one of my sister lives in Decatur. Uh, Underwood Hills, uh, the West Side. Morningside and Ansley Park. So these are some safer places to live. And I'm also doing this because some of you have contacted me and said you're moving to Atlanta or you're thinking about moving. So for those of you who follow me and you're thinking about moving to Atlanta and or other places, because some of you have mentioned you're moving to Texas and other people are like, I'm moving out of Atlanta. If you guys need me to do some of that research for you, I'll do that and post it in a video. Uh, but it but it will be all me posting it in a video. Just to let you know. I'll go ahead and look up some of these places. I've lived in a you know I've lived in five different countries and I've lived in a lot of different states here in America. So I'm not just talking out the side of my neck. I really did some traveling and plan on doing some more. So, anyways, so there's a whole other list here. Uh, what is the best neighborhoods to live in in Atlanta? 
Uh, is Atlanta a safe place? Let's look at that. Is Atlanta a safe place? Atlanta GA's safest neighborhoods. Atlanta has a wide variety of safe neighborhoods. Um, in spite of the reputation of dangerous place. Oh, how can you say in spite of? <laughs> One that has often turned up in the national top 10 cities with its highest crime rate. Okay, well, uh, it should come as no surprise that the northwest section of the city might be its safest. So, they're admitting that it's coming up in, uh, you know, its it, its reputation is bad for being one of the top 10 cities' worst place to live. They're saying there are some safe places, but I'm going to tell you something about that statement right there. It's safe despite, uh, despite the reputation as a dangerous place. <laughs> uh, okay. If somebody looks at it on a national level, it's a good chance I just it, that's not one person's opinion. This means it's kind of like buyer beware. It's like, do your research before you move down there. Find out exactly what's going on in the ATL. Because there are beautiful people there. There are beautiful places to live there. But do your research. If you're moving to a... Like, the guy I just talked to, he's like, I'm moving my whole family out of here. He's like, he's like, we used to live in Zone 6. My mother moved us out of there quickly. You know what I'm saying? I used to live in Braddock, Pittsburgh. My, I hated to live there. You know what I'm saying? That place got shut down. And we live in a project called The Bottom. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there are just some places that you love your city. Like, I love Pittsburgh, but I can't live there. Because of the police and the violence. you and Are there safe places to live in Pittsburgh? Absolutely. But there's so much violence there. It's like, oh my goodness, y'all just can't. I mean, it, it hurts to hear about how Pittsburgh got turned upside down. And now nobody is safe. No one. No one. Look at what just happened to the Jews in their church. No one is safe. Anybody can get it at any time in Pittsburgh. And that happened in Squirrel Hill. Braddock is the next, like the next two townships over. We used to go to Squirrel Hill all the time. Like that was the safe place. Not anymore. Nobody is safe in Pittsburgh. So my whole family left there. So you guys kind of understand, you people from Atlanta, when people are talking about What's going on in Atlanta? They're talking about their experiences. And they're not wrong. You know, I want you guys to like... You guys who are from Atlanta should be giving advice to people who want to come to Atlanta. You shouldn't be berating somebody talking about your city. Because you know that there's bad going on in your city. Heck, some of you probably the ones that are doing it. <laughs> You guys know that there's terrible things happening in your city, and you know who's doing it. You guys should be warning other people, if you come here, do not come to this area. Don't hang out here after midnight. You know, like some places in New York. You know, don't run around in Jamaica, Queens at 2 o'clock in the morning if you don't know where you're going. <laughs> if you have no business there, step out of it. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you where to go in Pittsburgh right now. <laughs> you want to hang out on Larmer Avenue? You want to go to the Hill District? You better be with somebody from the Hill District. Period. Point blank. Okay? <laughs> That's just it. If you want to hang out on Braddock Avenue, it's an abandoned avenue. You better know where you're going because everything is shut down. It's abandoned buildings there, okay? Don't mess around on Braddock Avenue. If you're running through Homewood, Brushton, you better have some homeboys or homegirls who know you because these are not good places to hang out and just be looking lost. Know where you're going. Be with people who are from there, who you trust, who are not trying to get you in trouble. That's all that I'm saying. Anyway, it's your boy Tone202. There's a whole list of other things 
if uh, you guys want to talk about anything else that has to do with ATL, of course I'm going to cover some of these other things. If you guys ask, it's your boy Tom Tua too, man. God loves you, so do I.